Tasha Phillips with Virtual Design here in Southern Oregon. Thank you so much, Chief Architect, for letting me take over your page today and show you how I use Chief every day with my business. So today I'm going to be showing you guys a couple of different projects that I've been working on, and then we're going to head out to a job site. But right now, I'm going to show you how to build a roof. This is a client of mine. He usually um, reaches out to me to do full home designs for him. He's a local contractor here in town and I provide him with renderings for listings. Today though, one of his clients just needs their roof designed and they wanna get some visuals to see what their house is gonna look like. So we're gonna provide him with that and I'm gonna show you right now how I do that. Okay, so I already went ahead and I did the floor plan for this house. And what I usually do for the roofs is actually always, I'll do auto build first and then I'll modify as I need, but I try to do as much as I can with the auto build. So what I do is I'll go through and I'll select all the walls that need to be hips and gables, which I've already done here. And then after I've done that, uh, we'll go ahead and click build and roof, build roof and build roof planes, auto build roofs. We want a eight pitch, click okay. And this plan is pretty simple, so we didn't have to make too many modifications. All I had to do earlier was break the roof plane right here, just to make this gable and go all the way back. And that was pretty much it. A boom. Okay, so I'm just trying to fancy this up a little bit, make it look pretty. And we're going to add some posts in here. I put some shingles. And we're going to go back to the floor plan to add posts. I'm going to click on the framing post, 4x4. Four I actually want this to be six by six. So if you click on it, hit tab to change the selected item, open or control E, and then we're gonna change the width to 5.5 inches, 5.5 inches. There we got our six by six posts. And then to get it symmetrical on the other side, we're gonna do copy and then we're gonna refit to get it lined up perfectly. And that's how you do the post. There they are. And I did that on the front already. And then I changed this vault um, with just doing a manual ceiling planes and then I connected them just so it could be a different pitch than the roof planes. And yeah, looks pretty good. Oh, and then I did these truss accents too, which are just downloaded from the manufacturer catalog or this bonus catalog on the Chief webpage. Super Super easy to do. They have tons of stuff on here. I'm always downloading from this library and then pulling it into my chief files. So I didn't really go into detail too much on that one for the visuals. Um, that was more of like a roof design and then I'll send them some elevations for that. But I also do renderings um, for designing like the exterior of your house if you're remodeling or say you're doing a new build and you want to see what the outside of your house looks like. I have people reaching out to me a lot for that. So I just finished up this project. Um, it was a rendering job for a new build in Ontario, Canada, and the homeowner just wanted some help. Uh, she wanted some help visualizing the design of the exterior of her new home. So I went ahead and did some, a couple different designs for her on Cheap Architect and then transferred them over to a rendering software, but everything that I do on rendering jobs is mostly in Chief Architect. So building the model, applying material regions, all that, the terrain, I do in Chief Architect. So let me show you. So I'm actually gonna show you the plans that she sent me first. Um, well, she sent me a PDF and then I printed these out just so I could have them to look at while I was inputting this into Chief Architect. Um, there was just a couple changes, like this entryway changed and that was it um, brought it over to the computer and this is what we're working with out of chief before sending it to any rendering um, we got some color coding going on for different materials I could potentially pull out <laughs> apply <laughs> different colors I could apply um, after sending after sending this to the rendering software this was a final um, image that I was able to produce um, we have this Arctic white Hardy, James Hardy stucco that she had given me um, in one of her emails that she was going to use. And we determined that she liked the dark gray better. And we brought the stone up, added this band to kind of separate this 
a long wall right here and yeah pretty cool all right it is hot out there um i was just picking out some tile but now we can head out to one of the job sites okay we're more in my environment now so I, I love helping people uh, visualize their dreams and their their homes or whatever they're building. Um, I love using Chief Architect to be able to do that. But another thing that Chief Architect has helped me do is uh, see my own visions come to life uh, with these personal, these spec houses that my business partner slash dad and I have been building. Um, this is called Bonnie Lane. This is my baby. Um, we're, this one's in the finishing stages. I'm show you here in a minute um, like we're getting the cabinets in countertops appliances light fixtures plumbing fixtures all that and I've been able to visualize it all through chief which has helped me so much with the whole process and production of this house so I'm gonna go show you He's on the phone, like always. All right, Dad, I'm trying to introduce you. Okay, so not a one-man show. This guy right here has helped me learn everything I know about building houses. Um, he got me into Chief. How long have you been using Chief? Oh, I think since about 1997, 98. There you have it. So I got the updated version. He used the old one. Now I do all the computer work and he does the building. En español se dice con permiso. Con permiso. So here's Bonnie Lane's kitchen. Uh, I was able to design this whole thing through Chief, uh, down to the cabinets where all the drawers are going, all the doors, um, even like this filler space. Uh, I was able to figure all that out on Chief, how it was going to look ahead of time. These, these uh, full length covers and all of this, um, I was able to make cabinet schedules and communicate with all the subs very clearly, even like the countertop place, Granite Mafia Metford, they're awesome. This custom hutch, so cool. Exactly what I envisioned and brought to life through Chief. Okay, I wanted to show you guys the 360 viewer um, feature that I use all the time. Um, this was an Airbnb that I designed and I made a 360 image for my client to view it. And basically what you do is you find the camera spot that you want to be viewing the room. Go to file, export, oops, and then export 360 panorama. And when you do that, follow the steps, it'll take you, um, you have to be logged on to your account on Chief Architect and it'll show up in here. Look, I have all these other ones. You can view it and you can send it to your clients. How cool is that? Here's a super cute barn ADU slash shop that I've been working on. It sits on a wedding venue, so it had to look super quaint and adorable. I'm gonna take you inside of it. As you can see, I'm pretty extra with all the library items. I apply and put in here even this this is like an iconic um, photo of our small town I just put on the wall <laughs> I'm so extra um, I'm always finding cool uh, materials to apply like my countertops backsplash like even all the hardware and all these cute little things on the counter I mean it's it's the click of a button away right there like why not I love it it's my favorite thing to do making these spaces look pretty and appealing. 
Okay, I got one more thing to show you guys. Um, so if you ever do remodels, stay tuned. Watch this next clip. All right, guys, uh, this is a remodel that I got going on right now. Um, this is the as built. So this is the existing house. This is the back of the house, but we're turning it into the front. And here's the exterior with this new entry and pergola. Most of the remodel was done on the inside. We took out a bunch of walls and changed a lot of stuff around. So I wanted to show you guys uh, something that I did to make it a little bit more clean and easier to understand and grasp um, with the layout page. So here's my remodeled floor plan. Looks pretty clean, but you know, it can be kind of unclear of where the walls used to be exactly. So if you use the reference display tool right here, look at that. I can see all the walls that we took out and what's been changed. And I did that simply by changing, instead then having this be my second floor, I changed it to the as built and I changed the layer set to what I wanted to display. And so whenever I turn my reference display on, I'm able to see that. And that, that's been beneficial for not only me, but explaining to my clients, look, this is, this is what you got going on and this is what we're gonna do. All right, and that will conclude today's design takeover with Virtual Design by Natasha. I am out of here, I'm going home. Uh, thank you so much, Chief, for having me. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Thank you for all the comments, questions, compliments. Please message me on my business page if you have any more questions or anything, and I'll try my best to answer them. Thanks again, Chief.